What's up, guys? I am Doug DeMarco. And let's unbox some stuff, man. All right. We have the dungeon. The dungeon crate. Dun dun. And this box is uh, a little heavy. A little. There we go. A little on the heavy side. So uh, let's see what's inside of the box. You know what I'm talking about. So we have some red paper. Nope. Okay, we have some more red paper. We have a, what is this? Critical coffee. What is this? Uh, it's a coffee cup for ants? What am I supposed to drink out of this? Probably uh, espresso, but critical coffee and you can see it has a little dungeon crate on the bottom there. It's not going to zoom in because I am filming on a potato, but that is what it is. So a nice little uh, espresso cup. And speaking of espresso, we have some non-espresso regular coffee. This is from the Adventure Coffee Company. I have seen these guys uh, promoted a number of times and maybe two years ago, we had some uh, coffee in our crate. So once every two years, not bad. And I'm always looking for uh, something new to buy, not buy, something new to uh, experience and taste. I wonder what this tastes like, Adventure Coffee. It probably tastes like dungeon dirt and dead flumps. Maybe. I don't know. We have a big D12. Boom. Got a big D20. Now we got a big D12. This one is uh, orange, reddish, whatever color reddish and orange is. All right. Now we have our crate code. Take that for me. Next we have a pin. So this is a mimic. This is from RPG Pins and Patches. We got the uh, patch last crate. So here's a nice pin. I don't know if I have this one or not. I don't know if this one comes with that Kickstarter. If it does, then I got another one. All right. What else do we have? We've got some stickers, Dungeon Crate sticker, uh, Player Slayer sticker, a card. Okay, so this is the card for the coffee. So let's read this. Let's see. With a successful perception check. These big words. It's a little early in the morning for me to pronounce in words like this. That's like three syllables. No, no, senor. The drinker can detect smoky, savory flavors with a sharp jolt of acidity and a smooth mouthful, mouthfeel. I don't know what this is. Coffee is supposed to taste like a three day old motor oil. That's, uh, that's what it's supposed to taste like. In the back, you can gather notes of coffee cherry, smoky cedar, and pulpy flavors. That define, you know what? Nope. 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 This is coffee. I will drink it. I will not taste any of this because I'm just that way and I will drink my coffee. If there's caffeine in it, that's all I care about. All right. Ooh, this is a nice figure. This is Innkeeper Sophie from the Bones Dark Haven line. And not only is this an innkeeper, but she has wings. So she can be a tiefling, a winged elf, which uh, those are pretty rare these days. Or really almost anything. I really love these uh, monstrous style NPCs. Because for the most part, when you buy a whole bunch of, you know, just say generic NPCs for... A market or you know a bar they're always going to be human and i know it's easy to make because you know it's the lowest common denominator and you can kind of stretch the truth a little bit and make them elves and stuff but i don't know that is what it is so we got some cards Ooh, these are ooh, these are high speed low drag so this is volpara's crystal and it is a blue glowing crystal that gives you great warmth inside Resistance to cold, which we need right now because it's uh, a little snowy outside, a little chilly. And this is Aklut, some type of beast. But uh, what I mean by high speed, low drag, usually we get the stats on the back and everything, but check this out. This is a nice little redesign. Got your stat block, you got your actions. Pretty good. All right. And we got a pencil. This is the Wand of Writing from El Dungeon Creto. 
And we have, let's see, well, go ahead and look at this can. So we've got some candy. We've got two butterscotches and a peppermint. So uh, somewhere, some grandmother is missing candy from the bottom of her purse. If that's you, let me know, because I got it. But I'm not giving it back. All right. We have our adventure. I believe this is a new adventure. This is Volpora's Festival of Ice. We've got it in two different cards, so ooh, that's a big map. Check that out. And this is, let's see, where is the start of this? Okay, here we go. So, days before celebrating with gifts of song at their annual ice festival, the dwarves of the Overlook Mining Camp fear they have angered the spirit of winter. Dun, dun, dun. In the spirit, uh, see, is the spirit responsible for the death of several miners? Or have they simply dug too deep into the mountainside? Never. As a, uh, I am not a fan of the dwarves. Some people are, just not my aesthetic. But uh, from what I hear, as a dwarf, you can never dig too deep. Uh, look at this cramp mess looking mf -er right here. He's got to be like maybe a Yeti or a Snowman or something. I don't know. This will be uh, interesting to play through. Let's see. Oh, we got another. No, no, we don't. What? What? We have. Uh, so this is Silk Dragon. This is beverages. I believe this is from the cookbook. Firecrackers. This is from Carrie Lynn Welker, for both of them. Uh, was she the one who was misattributed? Maybe, maybe not. I don't remember. If she is, then uh, good for her. She's got her own card. Look at that. Tell your friends. Ugh. And lastly, we have a, another table piece. Nice, maybe for a uh, private inn or something. And a snow map. Maybe that's a frozen pond in the center, or a really big puddle, or your death. And that is it from this month's Dungeon Crate. I have not had a chance to look at the uh, digital crate yet, but I'm assuming there's probably maybe one or two uh, audio files and all of this in digital form so you can download and to use at your pleasure. Although I don't think we'll be able to digitally download coffee. We're not there yet as a technology, which is unfortunate. All right. And do, 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 that, 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 that. All right. So there we go. That is it for this dungeon crate. So let's see. Let's take a look at this adventure coffee one last time. So if you'd like more of this deliciousness, feel free to fast travel over to adventurecoffee.co slash Stow and uh, ooh, use a uh, dungeon crate all in caps for 10% off your purchase. Check that out. Boom, there we go. If you're into that kind of thing and you enjoy this coffee and you got this crate, all right. But uh, low key, the best part about this crate is what's not in it, and that is socks. No socks for Christmas. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you thought about this crate. Obviously, uh, for what's in it, awesome. Some nice warming coffee this winter. Some awesome adventures. Uh, awesome miniature that uh, I'm going to have to pay somebody to paint. And dice, candy, and a little uh, teacup. No, espresso cup. There we go. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. A uh, happy Kwanzaa, maybe that too. And uh, whatever else little uh, religious stuff you guys celebrate or not. <laughs> you be awesome.